Hello everyone, my name is Sik. Welcome back to Slipways. And today the puzzle continues. So, um, we are going to have to spend two more months doing things so that we can probably research this next uh, technology that I want, the wave augmentation. So what we can do is actually we can just keep scanning. Right, we get three for the price of one right there. That is good. We have a remnant planet. Interesting. Uh, we don't have people that we can send there, unfortunately. Uh, we can scan these two. There we go. Now new technology is available. So we will be getting the wave augmentation. The increasing of the maximum range of slipways by 30%. That is very good. Now hopefully this planet will be able to reach... Ah. Uh, Nope. Unfortunate. This one, however, will be able to reach this planet now. And now this one is happy. So that is very good. Um, we have a remnant planet over here. And this could be interesting as well. Because we have one population left. And I see that we could turn that into nanotechnology. Which is required by this planet over here. So we are going to send this on its way. Send that over there. Now these guys should be more happy. And these guys actually also want to have goods now. So let's send it over here. And now these guys are mutually supporting each other and they are all successful. So that is very nice. And that actually gives us another good that we could send somewhere. Except, yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> um, so there's no nothing possible on the ice ball, unfortunately. Um, do we have population left somewhere? This guy is not going to produce any more population. We already have four and all four are being used by different planets. So that's a bit unfortunate. All right, what do we need to do for you again? Establish two more pairs of planets with two-way trade between them. Yeah, so that is going to be uh, our next challenge, I would say. Is there anywhere that we could send robots? These guys don't need anything else anymore. But these guys could produce food or water and microbes. Uh, water and microbes could be used somewhere else, maybe. People. We could get... Uh, Grain from one place provides people. We can turn people into the nanotech. So that is what we are going to do. This will be a two way thing, maybe. Yes. There we go. So this is a two way, and now we get the task complete for the Aphorians. We are also entered a new year, and now at this point, uh, we can scavenge anything useful. I got 151 bucks. Also, a new technology is available to us, which will be the deep drilling. I don't think that's going to be too useful. So we're going to wait for Xeno tourism, which is two years away. And how many is that? We have 13 years left until the end of this run. And nine months until the end of this year. All right, so what else? We have people that we can send different places. We can turn people into water. And we could hook that water up to the chips. Oh, I wish we could drag this thing out of the way. That would be very useful. Now at this point, everything is still connected together. But it doesn't have to be. We could create a little trade route away from everything else. And that should be fine as well. But for now, this will have to do. Um, there's not people left over here, so we cannot make a tra uh, research station. Actually, the research station also takes iron ore. We have people left over here. So actually, what we could do is we could make another laboratory. Wedge it in between there. Send people here, send iron ore here, and then this is used maximum at the maximum value. Uh, 
and these guys want to have goods. Could we make goods over here? Yes, we could. If we get water, well, actually, this guy doesn't reach people for water. Um, can we get people here? Doesn't seem like it, unless we have other planets over here that we could get access to. But I think we're going to go for it. Alright, that provides us with extra. I'll oh, get two more resources. Uh, nice, so now we have two other tasks available to us. Now we have 13 years left, and this is one thing that we need to take into account as well. Tasks that we cannot fulfill before the game is over actually count negatively towards the score quite significantly. Now at this point we still have 12 years left because we have one month left in this year. So I feel comfortable taking on two more tasks at least. And get two more ocean plants to successful. Increase the total production of food by eight units and get one more or producing planets to prosperous. All right, so one more ore producing planet. So this guy would need water. That is not happening, unfortunately. Uh, this one is prosperous. This one needs water. We could probably get water over there, so we could do that one. And as for food, ocean planets successful. That is going to be quite tricky, I think. Because they don't have many needs, right? And the, the ones the one need is fulfilled. It doesn't really like this one. It's just uh, stable, I guess, or happy. So that is a problem. So I think increasing the total production of food by eight units is the better one to go for. All right, empire size has increased to large, and this is another thing. As your empire grows, it gets harder to manage. Your current administration costs are minus three gold per planet each year. The next empire size increase will happen at 32 planets, now 24. So then we will lose money over time as well. As you can see, the planet upkeep is now 45. Administration cost is 72. Structure upkeep is 27, but the planet exports altogether way up for 246. And that leaves us with 102 net benefit. And this also counts towards our score. Anyway, we need people. Actually, we can scan these planets here as well. New technology is available, I guess, at this point. Um, we can do tourist resorts. Send people to, to get money. And we are sending people from here to here. And if we, okay, so we cannot do that. We need to make it into an actual separate planet instead of something that adds on to this, this planet we already have. All right, so that is good to know. That is very good to know. Uh, let's see, people, we need people, something that produces people. Get rid of this. Water into people. All right, now we're talking. These will support each other mutually. Now these guys also need grain. So we need... Uh, can you reach that one? No. Robots. For grain. Right, we would need people over here. Huh. Microbes and grain into people. Actually, we could get microbes from here. Get this. Um, this doesn't quite reach and it's also blocked, so that's unfortunate. But we get microbes that provides us with food. Uh, 
Hmm. I didn't think this through, did I? <laughs> Let's undo. People. Right. Oh, I, I did. I, I did. I clicked the wrong thing. Never mind. All right. All right, so now actually we didn't get microbes. We got grain instead. We can turn this into metal. These guys all want water. This could turn into grain. And that's another year. Um, food. There we go, that provides more people. Now they want luxuries, these guys want metal. And sadly, these guys cannot be of assistance there. Do we have people left? You cannot reach. You could reach this one. We need people to get water for this planet. Actually, this one can hook up to that one to provide more happiness. Right, and we can do some scanning. How many years are left at this point? 10 years. We can get rid of this one. We can turn computer chips and grain into people. Or f this into food or microbes and water. I'm not sure we need, oh, we need microbes over here. Actually, this will turn out pretty well. This guy can go up to here. Microbes can go up to there. And water can go up to here. That's a nice little system that we have. Now we could turn this into something as well. People into water. We still have water from over here if we would need access to that from somewhere, so that's not really beneficial. Alright, let's do some more scanning. What else do we have? A desert planet. We have a jungle planet, which we could turn into money. We could do some mining over here, and this actually would be beneficial as well, because it would add on to this planet. Now they want water. <laughs> of course, uh, we could get water from here. This is something that we need to check as well in the future. Let's see what else you need. Uh, if you get another robot at level three plus, then you would produce double. That would be kind of nice, but that doesn't seem to be happening for us. Um, what else could we do? We could produce goods over here, but it's not really going to. Re oh, we could reach this planet with it. So iron ore into goods onto that planet makes these guys happier as well. Research is available. You could do a reduced planet upkeep by one. Now we have so much money at this point, I honestly don't care. And that is actually does remind me we could do another research thing here because we have a robot thing over here that is not going to go anywhere. So if you do a laboratory, we could send one person over here along with one robot and Diminishing returns. For each lab already researching the same resource, laboratory output is lowered by two. Ah, I see. And water doesn't count. Actually, water counts. Right. Ah, but this is... Okay, we need to undo. So we have people. We'll get water. Actually, this water could have hooked up to this planet as well. Actually, does this reach? Ah, uh, not quite. It's unfortunate. Uh, what do you have here? A lava planet. If we have people left over, we could send them to this water planet. Alternatively, 
what else is there? We could turn this uh, forge world into something as well if we send iron ore here. But nanotech bots and goods are not really necessary anywhere in this corner. So, what else is there? We have a lot of stuff that we could scan over here. And we have a water planet over here. We could turn that into a money maker. Because we have people left over. So why not? Let's go for it. There we go. New technology available. Let's have a look. So we could do geo harvesting. Unlocks the harvest action on all planets. Destroy this planet and quickly but inefficiently harvest the resulting raw materials, giving a quick infusion of money. Oh, that is interesting. We're going to get that because that allows us to clear the path a little bit in some ways. Right, because there was something blocking us. I don't remember where exactly. And it's too bad that this one is out of range. So it would have been quite useful. And we have uh, food being produced over here, it doesn't really need to go anywhere. Microbes to here, yeah, all right. This is one thing that we also couldn't do, so we actually might as well send microbes over to this place, make this more successful as well. Provides us more health. And look at our happiness. Our happiness is going quite well. And we could harvest this. This is money. And this is a useless planet, so this really doesn't help us in any way. Except it does advance the time. We can get money from this one as well. Now you can see, as I said in the last episode, this one was now worth 18 bucks, which is really good. Oh, we also have a forebear rune over here. We could send this, these people over here because they're not going to be doing anything else that is useful to us. Uh, make market the artifacts as novelties turns into two artifacts. Um, so the station stores some of the forefathers historical artifacts and records. The records are unreadable, but maybe the artifacts can be of some use. Now, nothing around us actually is in need of artifacts. Uh, we could turn this into a museum, which provides us with happiness, but our happiness is stable. We could sell it for money, but we don't need the money. But we can learn about the forefather culture and get science. And that actually is very useful. All right, what about this? Uh, water microbes? Do we have microbes and people left over somewhere? Pretty sure we have microbes somewhere. Nope, doesn't seem like it. But we could maybe get microbes for people. And water? Does the water need to go anywhere? There's, well, this planet is water, but that is not happening. Um, hmm. We could do some more scanning. Um, cannot quite reach all three of them people into different things. All right, we could reach this one. Turn people into something else. Water and microbes. This one would need food and microbes. All right, people over here. Turn this into water. These guys want goods to make more money. Unfortunately, this is way too far to reach. But if we turn this into... Yeah, but we don't have access to people. Actually, yeah, we can get people here. So we will send people over here. Now they want goods. Uh, they can send people over here. No, we can't. All right, let's undo. 
Ah, uh, because we've been writing goods over here. Never mind. Oh, and now they want robots, huh? Okay. But look at that. Now they will make 12 bucks each year. So that increases our income quite nicely. Now we could make robots from iron ore. But we don't have anything left in the area. So we could harvest this. It costs one month. See, if these guys get water, they will get more ore. We could produce other items. We could send chips over here. Ah, look at that, people. Can we get more people over here for some something? That planet can go out of the way. We can make food there. Ah, we have more four bear runes. That would also be extremely useful. We could turn this into something else. This could turn into people. Like this is a bit of a dead end, which is unfortunate. Um, let's call this. That's another asteroid. Oh, I didn't get that one. Desert, send people there. It's unfortunate that we cannot make any uh, goods anywhere nearby. And this is too far away. Is there anything else? Reduces the cost of building slipways by 25%. Trade League, uh, Trade Hub, two months and 30 bucks. Uh, can consume any resource except people. When connected with three or more different types of resources, yields happiness and money. Oh, that could be quite useful if you get the right uh, thing for that. Let's see, we cannot get any more of this, I guess. So we, we would need to unlock one of these. I guess this would be an okay one on the next turn. Right, what else could we do? We can have more planets to scout. Get some of this. Five years remaining. Alright. So, what can we do here? Turn food into people. And this is like the problem, because now we cannot reach this planet over here. So... Mm. Yeah, it's a little bit tricky. We have several quite happy planets, which is nice, but we would preferably find another way to, to get more. Sadly, we don't have people left. That is nothing. Okay. What about this? Asteroids, we have a forge world. Oh, look at that. We could turn this into products, send the products over here. If we can get iron ore or robots, uh, we cannot get that. What about over here? Four bear runes. And uh, we have people. Mm, that doesn't seem to be happening. Well, we could send this, these guys over into the four bear runes, get something else for it. Uh, this used to be a slip space relay, similar to our experimental designs. With some effort, perhaps it could be restored. Figure out how it was used, that gets us more science. We could spend 20 money and this would turn into... Oh, this could be interesting. Uh, iron ore and nano chips. We'll scrap it for parts. And also we have new technology, so we are going to do dimensional anchoring to in 
reduce the cost of building slipways by 25%. All right, so now we have nanotech. Do we need anything else? We could turn nanotech into people. This, if it gets water, would uh, be able to make people, but that is not happening anymore. Alright, what, uh, what else do we have over here? We have a Forge Worlds. Turn, we could make robots over here. These people would need robots to be happy and they can reach, so... And they have both things immediately that they want. That is really, really nice. Now this planet is very happy. It increases our happiness. Look at that, we are at 118%. That is going to be great for a score at the end of the game. We will we'll be making 15 bucks a month. That is really nice. Now we have robots left to do other things with. So we could turn that into food. And we could also turn robots into goods. That doesn't seem so great. What else? We can scout over here. We have four years remaining. So I think we're going to end this video on that note, but let's have a look. People. What else do we have over here? Asteroid. People making a bunch of other things. And uh, we could reach it from this planet actually, and that would be nice. What else would we need? I'm not sure. We can destroy this one, get some more money. Uh, basically we have everything we need to be happy here. We could do a bit more scouting. Uh, four bear runes. All right, uh, we have another uh, remnants planet. So you can also see, and this is something I really need to remember that you can see at level two what their next uh, requirement is going to be because that really does help out with the planning. Um, let's go to this planet then. Arctic planets. We could turn food and uh, bacteria into people. A robot and bacteria into people. That's a bit tricky. If we have people over here, we could get access to these four bear rooms, which we ruins. That would be nice. And we need to do something with uh, those with that robot anyway. Task complete. Increase the total production of food units. Ah, I forgot about that. And what do you want? Get more, one more producing, yeah, iron producing plants to prosperous. So you would really need some water, I think. And then they will become successful. So maybe we also need to look already at a successful iron ore producing planet and try to turn that into the next thing. So you are successful, you would need something else. What do you need? One more export. All right, where could we export your stuff to? Or doesn't it not matter? Yeah, I think it matters because it doesn't count as an export if it, if it doesn't get used by the planet. So, there's only two planets you can reach, that is a bit of a problem. You would need an import and an export route at the bare minimum. So you would need water and you need to export it somewhere else. What about if we send people over here? We don't have access to them yet, but we'll send this. Three years remaining. All right, so now we lose a bit of unhappiness, but that is fine. Uh, you can destroy this planet. What can you reach? Only this planet? 
No, that doesn't make sense. Well, actually, we can hook you up. Now you're prosperous. And you need an export route. So we're going to undo this. Right, so we're going to need people here. Um, let's have a scout. All right, ice planets. We can get people from water over here. Send. All right, we're going to. Could we reach you? No. So actually, we're going to destroy this planet. I'll send people over here if they can get food, which they cannot. So that's a bit unfortunate. You need to ex you need to send this somewhere, so. Turn you into robots, I guess. Robots are pretty useful overall. Two years remaining. If we scout this, robots could be turned into goods. And look at that. You are now successful. What else do you need? Uh, has to trade with three other planets that are successful or better. Requires a total of five imports and exports. So we need one more export. And it needs to trade with some other prosperous planets. It is tricky. That is tricky. This is a bit of a dead end. Maybe we could... No, we cannot undo any of these. That is unfortunate. We need food to produce people. Maybe I should have hook this up later because this actually kind of hurt us a little bit we cannot reach out because you're obstructed and do we have nano chips anywhere that we could reach not really mm. yeah that is a problem this one cannot trade with that one because the slipway is in the way because that could have helped out a little bit. Actually, that one quest is quite hard. Right, can we get water over here somehow? We need robots. Unfortunately, these guys won't be able to reach all the way over there because that would have been very nice, but that is not happening, seems like. What we could try to do, maybe, is do a laboratory. Uh, hook this up. Hook that up. It's not producing, but now it has an export at least. Now it has to trade with three other planets that are successful or better. Oh, that is so hard. That is not happening. We should have focused our attention somewhere else. But now we know, because that is something for the future that we could take into account. Successful planets. Need some goods over here to produce more people. Now we could send people elsewhere. But it also doesn't seem likely to happen anymore. Uh, we don't have microbes to send over here, so this is a bit of a dead end. 19 months until the end of this run. We are getting so close. That is kind of tricky. Alright, so what else could we do? We could turn this into resorts. And to make more money we would need goods, which we are not producing an excess of anymore. So I guess at this point we will go here for people. We'll send this to the slipway. We could turn this into raw resources again, but we will sell it off slowly, which turns it into money making. Well, I guess maybe at this point, because we're so short in time, we should have gotten the, the base amount of money. 
you want microbes. All right, so we're getting close. Is there any way we can get microbes over here? These are all remnants. So you could send people here to, to produce something, but it doesn't benefit us elsewhere. We could send people here to produce iron, and from here, these guys could make more goods. There's nowhere to send tourists anymore after this, I think. Could make food with robots, but it doesn't, yeah, it does reach actually. Uh, well, we'll get this slipway as well. One year remaining, restore it and settle it. Uh, turns into food with people and then happiness. That would be kind of cool. It used to be a residential space station. Its life support system seemed curiously similar to what we would need to live here. All right, so now we want to have food over there. Uh, robots. All right, that gives us people and happiness. We would need iron over here, which we don't have access to. So that makes these guys unhappy. But at this point, well, we're losing a fair amount of unhappiness also because the unhappiness of the planet goes up over time to a maximum of minus eight. So gets worse by 1% every turn until a maximum of minus eight. And all of these plants that are unhappy start reducing the total. And that is a bit of a problem. That's one unit of microbes on any planet producing water. Uh, is there anywhere that, that might be useful? Just having a look at all the planets here, but... I don't think it would benefit us anywhere, so that might, might not be the best one. Uh, flexible fabrication enables the repurposing project on planets that are established or better. Adds one unit of goods on any planet producing robots. Adds one unit of robots on any planet producing goods. Huh. Could be useful. Or trade hub structures. Can consume any resource except population. When connected with three or more different types of resources, yields, money and yeah, I think we might want to go ahead and get that one. Also, I noticed that we have robots over here that we can send to this planet. Uh, except that was a mistake. Because we need iron on this planet, not anything else. Ah, this is so annoying. Because we need robots from here to get to there. We could make iron ore to make this, but then we need people here, and we cannot send people here. So that just basically produce, yeah, this shifts the problem elsewhere. Alright, so is there anywhere that we are getting free goods? That we could turn into something else that we could add onto with the technology, because that's what we got, right? Unlocks trade hub structures. Ah. All right, so we need to place this somewhere where we can get three or more different types of resources. So we need to have a look. We can get robots and this guy and food. And this could be powerful endgame stuff, I guess. Oh, not quite. That is the end of this game. And it looks like we did it pretty well. Of course, we got three out of five stars. The next one would have been at 9,600 points. We got so close. Like if I could have sent this last one up, put up this last one, that would have been great. Now you can see uh, all the technologies that we researched the amount of planets, we would score 320 points for each prosperous planet. So the ones that are blue, it's kind of hard to see now, 
but this one for example so one two three you can see how many you have of each five of those 11 successful planets and 23 established planets so these planets don't lack anything uh, we have a legacy each legacy oh it's a legacy point okay uh, it's worth 50 and for all the things that we did these come from the task uh, we got 1800 points for all the tasks that we completed. The empire size is colossal. Each increase in empire size is worth 400. So total of 2000 there. An unfinished task. We have one unfinished task and that costs us 500. So if we had finished that one task, making that iron ore planet happy or prosperous, which actually was impossible, I think, at this point. Uh, we would have gotten more points, like we would have gotten 500 points, I think, or actually no, we, we probably wouldn't have got 500 points, but we wouldn't have lost 500 points and we would have gotten some more points anyway from this. I don't know how many, but it would have been something and then we would have got four stars, I think. And of course the 109% happiness is a score multiplier. All score components are multiplied by the happiness of your people. So, and uh, we're done with this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to see me do another run of this, please let me know in the comments below and I will gladly do so. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys for whatever video I do next.